It's a beautiful sunny day, ideal for a bit of floater fishing. Now, when it comes to fishing on the surface, it's well worth paying special attention to your tackle. Now, fishing on the surface generally requires a little bit more finesse than what you'd be using on the bottom. And for that reason, I prefer to use a more balanced outfit. This particular rod, this is one of the old Mark I ESP rods, 12 foot, two and a half pound. It's got a lovely through action. I've been using this for my floater fishing for getting on for 10 years now, and it served me well. Nice bit of kit. The reel, this is a small reel, it's lighter than what I'd normally be using on the bottom. It's an SS 2600, and with that I've got a 10 pound main line, so it's all light, a lot, a lot lighter setup than what you'd normally be using on the bottom. And, and this isn't bad, I've, I've done well with this, I've caught some big fish on this over the years. However, this one here is the new ESP floater rod, and just holding it, I can straight away tell that it's much more suited to the job. It's lighter, that's especially important, bearing in mind you're going to be holding it all day. And it's got a nice crisp action as well, and the rings are smaller, and they complement the, the smaller reel. So all in all, it just feels a much better tool for the job. Now, moving on to the end tackle. And this is the setup I've used for the majority of my floater fishing for a long, long time now. I've already mentioned that I like to use a lighter main line than I'd normally use. So this time around I've got a 10 pound main line on. I'd normally recommend eight or 10 pound, depends on where you're fishing. This is 10 pound, I like to fish for the bigger ones. Right, first thing you're gonna do, you've got your main line. First thing you wanna do is put on a small backstop, little rubber backstop. So you'll slide that on. Next you want a bead, then your controller. I prefer to keep them as small as possible, five or 10 gram are my favorite size. You want another bead, little five mil rubber bead. So there you go, you've got a controller sandwiched between two beads with a rubber backstop behind it. And next, you're tying on your swivel, and I like to keep those small as well, size 10 or 11 Unilink swivel. And then to the swivel, you want a long length of light mono. Now, it really does depend on where you're fishing. Obviously, if it's really weedy or snaggy, then you're gonna, gonna have to use a slightly heavier hook link. If it's not so weedy, snag free, then you can get away with, with hook links down to eight pound. I generally start off with 10. I might use eight if I can get away with it. I might have to go up with 12 if it's a little bit on the weedy side. Now the important thing, whatever the diameter, whatever the strength for your hook link, is to make sure they're long. The longer the hook link, the more stretch it's got in it, and that's very important when you're using the small hooks. Now, so we'll come to the end. I like to keep the hook links around five, six feet in length. Now hook wise, Again, you've got to keep those small, smaller than you'd normally use. I like to use a size 10 ESP Big T. And once I've tied that on with a polymer knot, I'll then tie a short hair. I'll just, the leftover tag of the 10 pound line, I'll pass through the back of the eye and I'll tie a very, very short hair to it. And onto that, I then put my hook bait. And obviously hook bait is personal choice. If you're lucky enough to find some, some decent mixers that float, that are buoyant enough, nowadays it's a struggle to get hold of them. But if you can get hold of some good ones, then they're good. Otherwise, a trim down pop-up is ideal. I like to use a trim down pop-up, something that's a similar color to the mixers. And in this case, I've used the Monster Crab. So a, there it goes, ideal setup. Plenty of stretch in the hook link. Very important when you're using these small hooks. And trust me, that's a setup I've used across lots and lots of different lakes for many years. It's a real winner.